Greetings, friends. My name is Pavel Sternmach, and now we will dive in the top news of this day. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba took part in an informal meeting of EU foreign ministers, which took place on August 31st in the Spanish city of Toledo. The diplomats discussed the continuation of assistance to Ukraine. At the same time, Dmitro Kuleba shared Ukrainian successes in the diplomatic arena, in particular about the upcoming meeting of the UN General Assembly in New York, how exactly the Europeans can advance in Ukrainian peace plan and, of course, about the negotiations in Jeddah. Let me remind you that the head of European diplomacy, Joseph Borrell, noted that the peace summit in Saudi Arabia was a diplomatic success due to the number of countries that took part in it. This indicates an even greater isolation of Russia from other states as part of the next meeting of foreign ambassadors to discuss the work on peace formula. More than 70 participants will gather. It will be held in Kyiv, deputy head of the office of the president, Igor Zhovko said. He emphasized, it is very important that the Republic of South Africa participates in this work on the peace formula. Other states of the Global South participate too, Brazil and India. We are guided by our formula. We take into account all those proposals, in particular from China, Brazil, which are rational and compatible with the interests of peace, with the interests of Ukraine. At the next meeting of ambassadors, which will take place this week in Kiev, there will be even more participants, I think more than 70. Ihor Shovkwa, deputy head of the office of the president of Ukraine, in an interview with Interfax Ukraine. Also in Toledo, European politicians discussed a special tribunal for Putin and the provision of 20 billion euros for the European Peace Fund. Estonian Foreign Minister Markus Sachna said that the money will be used to help the Ukrainian army for four years. The Estonian minister urged to continue supporting Ukraine and not to expect the war to end soon with only one counteroffensive. This takes time. Anyone cannot get tired of this. This is not a war movie that lasts one or two hours, and now we are waiting for the war to end because we want to watch the next movie. No, this is a real war, and we must support Ukrainians. They are losing their best sons on the battlefield, Sachna said. Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Oleksiy Danilov, showed a video of the launch of the development of Ukrainian missile program. He published the relevant video on his Facebook page. The footage shows that a test took place at night. The new wrote that the test took place within the framework of the president's missile program and was successful. President Zelensky informed that Ukraine successfully used long-range weapons of its own production, claims without details that the target was hit 700 kilometers away. It is currently not officially known what the exact goal is, but if you don't know, 700 kilometers is the approximate distance from Ukraine to Pskov, where explosions ran out at the airfield at night of August the 30th. The main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine confirmed the destruction of four Russian Il-76 aircraft. So the war is naturally spreading to where it came from, to Russia. The conviction that Russia can conduct military operations only where it wants and at the same time remain safe is naive. The Orthodox Church of Ukraine switched to the new Julian calendar. In this way, the relevant decision of the highest authoritative council institution of our church, the local council, is implemented. During the previous time, the renewal of the calendar tradition in Ukraine was discredited by attempts to impose it externally. Therefore, the opposition to the calendar reform within the former USSR was also part of the resistance to the totalitarian Bolshevik policy, but not factors from the past which stood in the way of calendar changes are losing their relevance. The desire to assert one's own Ukrainian spiritual identity to renew historical communication with other local sister churches to protect against the aggression of the Russian world. It requires us to make a timely decision to join the majority of local Orthodox churches by introducing the new Julian calendar. As more accurate astronomically and accepted by the church with the preservation of the traditional Easter, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church finally corrected calendar inaccuracies and celebrate such churches' holidays together with the majority of other local Orthodox churches of the world. At the same time, those communities that want to follow the old calendar in the future can do so, following the procedure determined by the Council. 
after the decision of a qualified majority of the community. The calendar reform will take place without cohesion, calmly and prudently, giving everyone the opportunity to accept the necessary changes gradually and consciously. That concludes our today's video. Thank you for watching. Stay updated. Subscribe to our UATV English channel for more news from Ukraine. Your support is it really matters. Goodbye.